Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. On this episode today, we're gonna make such an easy recipe. This is called Milanesas Empanizadas. We're gonna make Milanesas two different ways and also we're gonna serve it in two different ways, with salad and with bread, okay? So let's get started. Okay guys, so for this recipe, we're gonna need a pound of steak. This is very thin, thin. As you can see, you can see through the light. So this is one pound, about six steaks. You can use pork or beef, whatever you like. This is pork. We're going to need breadcrumbs, eggs, one onion, one, well, this is very big. So two cloves of garlic or a big one. We are also going to need pepper, salt to taste, one cup of milk. We're also going to need oil. To serve our milanesas, I'm going to use vegetables. I'm going to make a salad with lettuce, tomatoes, avocados, and cucumbers. The first time I saw my uncle make this recipe, I was like, he's crazy. What is he doing? But after I tasted it, I was amazed with the flavor. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add half onion, the garlic, the eggs, the milk, and also at the very end, the pepper. Below in the description box, you will find all the amounts that I am uh, using for this recipe. So after you have all this in the blender, we're gonna blend it really, really well. Okay guys, so I forgot to add salt to the mixture and I'm gonna add it right now and I'm gonna mix it. After I mix everything pretty well, I'm gonna add the steaks here and um, I'm gonna leave them soaking here for one hour, okay? The milk is gonna help us to have the steaks very, very tender, okay? So have a little bit of patience. If you ha want to do this overnight, go ahead and do it, okay? But if you're in a rush and you don't have time, I'm gonna show you the other way of making them. For our second recipe, we're gonna beat an egg. And I have here on the side some breadcrumbs. I am going to add about a teaspoon of the seasoning. And I wanna mix it and mix everything pretty well. Also, you can add seasoning to the steaks, okay? Then just leave them for a couple of minutes so that they can hold up the seasoning. Very simple to make this. Just take a steak, put it in the egg mixture. This is just a beaten egg. And after you have covered it with egg, try to take the excess out and then place it on the breadcrumbs, which have been seasoned also. Cover it pretty well with the breadcrumbs. Try to cover every single corner of it. Okay guys, so after this has been covered fully with the breadcrumbs, take the excess out and place all of your milanesas on a plate. Okay guys, so meanwhile you wait here, uh, we're gonna make the salad. I'm gonna slice some tomatoes, some cucumbers, and the lettuce, okay? Here, it's been about an hour, and here are our steaks. I'm gonna take one, and I'm gonna place it here in the bread, breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs have nothing, okay? No salt, no garlic, nothing. We, all the flavor is here on the meat. So we're gonna cover the milanesa with bread. Try to heat the meat because this way the bread is gonna penetrate the meat. And when you fry them, it's gonna be good because the bread is not gonna get out of the milanesa, okay? So just hit it hard and Whenever it's ready, take the excess out and place it with the rest. 
To fry our milanesas, we're gonna heat a pan and we're gonna add some oil. And when it's hot, we're gonna add the milanesas, okay? okay? So after the oil is hot, we're gonna place our milanesas in the oil. But before that, we're gonna make a cut in the meat so that these become flat. If you don't do this cut, then they will become like a bubble, sort of. So um, just cut somewhere in the meat, about two inches, and that's it. After you have uh, made a cut in the meat, just place it in the oil and leave it there for about five to 10 minutes. Try to uh, fry these in medium heat. Don't uh, don't fry this in a very hot oil because the bread will burn. So just keep them here for 5 to 10 minutes. Turn them over every once in a while and you will see when they are done. When they have this uh, nice golden brown color, they're going to be ready. When they are done, drain uh, some of the oil. Try to uh, take most of it out and place it here with some paper towels so that they don't have too much oil when you eat them. And finally, here is our final dish. I am serving it with some cucumbers, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado. And if you wanna make this as a torta, just slice a piece of bread, it could be any kind. Right here, I am using bolillo, but you can use rolls, you can use Italian bread, any bread you like. And just add some mayonnaise on top, and then you can serve the meat with lettuce, tomatoes, avocado, and that's it, guys. This is a torta. You can melt also if you like some cheese in there. It is going to be much better. But as is right now, it's very delicious. So it's time to taste the recipe. I made this green salsa, which goes very well with this recipe. I'm going to leave the link here if you want to know how I did it. And I'm going to taste it. Mm. It's very tender, very crispy, and very delicious. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends if you liked it. And uh, see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.